It's a great question. And I think there were many streams that came together to help me get a way to think about this that I could use to benefit patients. And, um, you know, during the pandemic, of course, that really was an emergency and people were quite anxious. And we started seeing the signs of well-being, you know, of humans, their mental health not doing well for a lot of reasons, the isolation. And then even after coming out of the pandemic, it, it didn't recover like we had hoped it would. And it's just, there's been a huge shift in society because of the use of social media. And some of the important social psychologists have talked about what that means for, you know, adolescents and older people. And we're, you know, placed in this environment, you know, being overwhelmed by stimulation so frequently by our consumption of media. And, you know, the human, human beings are used to being on the African plains many years ago where we evolved <laughs> and it was pretty quiet most of the time. And so we're just being exposed to this constant barrage. And then I started reading about interoceptive system, which is our internal metabolic balance system that we're understanding better. And I began to realize how all this stuff has, is really a challenge to our actual um, metabolic balance as humans. And it's costing us a huge amount of energy, literal energy in our body to you know, maintain our equilibrium or what we sense is our equilibrium with all this activity and stimulation and all these difficult things going on. And even to this day, there was a new public article in the, in the New York Times how young people are not doing well. That the well-being of young people, meaning you know those in late teens and early 20s, still has not recovered, which is really unusual because typically the happiness curve is really high when we're young. It dips in middle age and recovers when we're older. And so this is a change to the happiness curve that um, has been understood for a long time. And we need to think carefully about what this means for us. So the happiness